Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, my day is just starting. As I record this for future viewing, <laughs> um, it's Sunday morning and it's around nine o'clock. Don't worry, I'm not drinking anything. We are going to do a little bit of an edge. We'll have some drinking later in the video. But um, I have these wellers out for a specific reason. And we are going to do a version, as you can tell by the title of this video, <laughs> before you even clicked on it, we're going to do a version of old, old no, poor man's Pappy. Uh, Pappy Van Winkle. Now, Pappy Van Winkle is a weeded bourbon currently um, done by the Buffalo Trace Distillery, and there's various age statements. I think there's like a 15-year and a 20-year and a 23-year. And this bourbon, as I recall, was born out of necessity. There was a decades-long slump um, in the bourbon enthusiast field that <clears throat> starting especially in the 70s, um, the desire for alcoholic beverages was more of the clear beverage variety, your gins and vodkas, and your mixed foo-foo drinks <laughs> were very popular. So bourbon kind of fell by the wayside. Um, and then once bourbon started gaining uh, a little bit more of a following and um, people were starting to enjoy it again in the early 2000s. Um, these distilleries found that they were sitting on these barrels of bourbon that had been aged for literally a couple of decades. That's where Pappy Van Winkle came in. Um, they started the distillery started selling these bottles it became very popular and um popularity uh outweighs the demand if that makes sense <clears throat> so anyway we are going to do a poor man's version of pappy van winkle because this stuff retails msrp around two to three hundred dollars if you can find it there's other expressions like um, old Rip Van Winkle, which I think is just a uh, kind of like the bottom of the bottom <laughs> version, just so you can get a bottle with the Van Winkle name on it. So poor, so the Weller comes into, into play because Weller essentially is Pappy Van Winkle, but it's just not aged as long. And there's other factors. It's the same mash bill, same recipe, same distillery. But the difference is that the, uh, I mean, it all depends on the warehouse, the rick house that these barrels are stored in, the length of time, weather conditions, and all that. So we're going to do our own version today. Now, <clears throat> this is actually going to be a poor man's poor man's <laughs> pappy because, um, a poor man's pappy is 60% um, Weller Antique 107 and 40% uh, Weller 12-year, I which is 90 proof. I do not have the 12-year. I have a little sample of it here that a friend of mine in Idaho um, bequeathed to me. but And it is 90 proof, so my next best, best thing is going to be the um, Weller Special Reserve Green Label. <clears throat> and I will tell you right now, if you have both of these bourbons available to you, if you do a half and half mix, like a shot of 107 and a shot of um, Special Reserve in a glass, it's pretty spectacular. But we're not doing that. Now, what we're going to do is kind of age the Special Reserve. And I've done this before um, in different videos. What I have here, wow, nice, <laughs> is a um, mason jar. I've got a handful of Jack Daniels wood chips. And then I have this um, oak spiral. Hmm, nice. From the um, Defiant Whiskey Distillery in North Carolina. They do single malt whiskey. And this is what they use to age their whiskey. And uh, 
I brought a bag of these spirals when we were down there a few years ago. So now what I'm going to do is just pour, pour this in. And yeah, I'll do about, I don't know if I want to do the whole bottle. I'd like to enjoy some of that. We'll put this up here. Now I'll put that one away. Now we're going to go away for a couple of days and I'll come back, let you know what the results are, but I am going to closely monitor and compare this as it ages to what's in here to get as close of an approximation of the 12 year as I can. So we'll see you in a minute. Well, here we are at the, this is actually this part is almost two weeks after that first part of the video, believe it or not. Not because um, I had to wait for that weller to age or double over. That took like a day to do because I poured it into a smaller mason jar with those wood chips and the stave and all that. But because it was so concentrated in that jar, it took like a day to age. And even then it was too strong. So I took that and I poured it back into what was left of the Weller Special Reserve that was in the bottle. So we're going to do some comparisons right now. Um, oh, and then I had to wait, the reason for the two weeks, wait for these labels for this bottle. And uh, I got two of these labels from a fellow on eBay. Um, and he sent me a couple of extra smaller ones as well. But just a nice vinyl uh, self-adhesive label. What I've done is took a Weller's uh, Antique 107 bottle and I took a heat gun, took the labels off, used some Goo Gone um, or Goof, yeah, Goof Off and got as much of that tape residue off as I could. And um, let me let this breathe for, for a little bit. So this is, this bourbon's actually been sitting waiting for me to try it for almost two weeks, a little over a week and a half, almost two weeks. And I have not tried it yet. I, this is going to be the first time I'm trying my version of poor man's pappy. So first thing I'm going to do, these are, these four little glasses are Weller, Weller Special Reserve. And as I, and these two bottles I just cracked open right before I started the camera for this video. Um, so nice. Um, interesting thing with Weller. Um, I'm going to recap the prices. Weller Special Reserve is um, $23.99. MSRP. It's a good sub $25 bottle. Um, you know, if you see it for a little bit more than that, maybe $30, I'd grab it, but don't pay $200. <clears throat> um, the next one here, this is um, out of my little sample of Weller 12 I got from my buddy in Idaho. And, uh, and then this is what I had aged color man color is the same um i have compared these two and i think they're pretty close to each other see i'm not a fan of the weller 12. it's good it's decent That's like the exact same thing to me. And um, I put it through the old hydrometer, which is my little doodad, <laughs> doohickey gizmo that measures the proof of alcoholic beverages. And it stayed at the 90 proof. And we need that for the, um, the pappy, poor man's pappy. So, and then the antique 107. really nice. All right, I'm going to just pause the camera for a second, cleanse the palate, 
Oh, we're going to try the poor man's pappy. All right, there we go. Palette cleansed. <laughs> so um, let's set these to the side. Because we're not talking about the Weller anymore. Um, so Pappy Van Winkle comes in at 100.2 proof. The hydrometer with this came out at 100.2 proof. Um, again, Weller 12. It's... Um, Hold on, <laughs> get my notes here. It is 60% of the Weller Antique 107, that's in the red label, and it's 40% of the Weller 12 year. That equals, by math, it's 300 milliliters of the 12 year, 450 milliliters of the Antique 107, <clears throat> and um, I have a big like Pyrex measuring cup for liquid measure. I mean, it holds like a liter um, or yeah. So I measured it and filled the bottle <laughs> and I had actually exactly enough of the 107 to do this in uh, my bottle that I showed you in the first part. So without further ado, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to this. I hope I'm not let down. I mean, it just it has a nice, elegant, very rich smell to it. It's got like that caramel color, a nice brown, elegant looking. The fingers are nice, but what's what's it taste like? I guess we're going to find out. I'm not going to put this off anymore. Wow. Wow. It's really smooth. <laughs> um, whoa. I do get the slightest burn at the end. Wow. I can't describe how it tastes. It's elegant. Um... Whoa, I gotta try a little more. Sorry about that. It's, I'm not getting really any sweetness out of it. It's just, on the front of my tongue, it's smooth. It's like, I mean, there's a flavor. Um, Man, it's like a, wow, <laughs> I can't describe the flavor. It's, um, I'm not, I got to try one more. It's just a really smooth pour of bourbon. Um... Because it has, it's a weeded recipe, you're not getting that, like, spice, that usual spiciness from a rye. Um, I would venture to say, if, um, if any of you folks enjoy Wild Turkey Rare Breed, which is a high rye bourbon, um, I would say this is the weeded equ equivalent of that. Not as high of a proof. Um, I was kind of expecting, in a way, I was expecting like Rebel 100, like that sweetness. Maybe once this uh, gets past the neck pour here, it's, um, it gets a little sweeter, but it's, it's smooth, it's elegant, it's got a wheat, like a wheat spice to it. Um, Really enjoyable. <laughs> I always see why people kind of go gaga over it. But again, this is not a real Pappy Van Winkle. It's a poor man's Pappy version. Um, I was talking a little bit about prices earlier. So back in 2016, this is why this bourbon is so influential. The, the uh, Pappy Van Winkle. 
So back in 2016, Buffalo Trace changed the packaging of their Weller um, bourbons. It used to come in diff a different bottle, different labels, but they kind of standardized it um, in 2016 to this type of packaging. So um, back in 2016, Weller Special Reserve was like $16 a bottle. And it's... I would say, like I said, that's a good $30 bourbon. Don't expect greatness or world peace out of it. The uh, 12 year, I think, was like $25. The Antique 107 in 2016 was $19, well, $20 a bottle. Now it's $50 a bottle. The uh, 12 year is $40, but it's highly allocated. And again, $23.99, $24 for the Special Reserve. The reason why, from what I, I've researched, the prices have escalated, why this is not $20 anymore, but $50, um, is because of Pappy Van Winkle. Once <laughs> it was discovered um, how exclusive this, type, this bourbon, the real version of this bourbon is, it escalated the prices of the Weller because Pappy Van Winkle is basically Weller bourbon, but aged 15, 20, 23, 25 years, different age expressions, highly allocated, impossible to find. And that's why folks do these poor man Pappy bottles, just so they can experience the, um, the Pappy Van Winkle legend for ourselves. So I'm glad I did this. This is really a cool, elegant um, bourbon. It came out really good. I did not really want to take my bottle of Antique 107, which I enjoy the Antique 107 incredibly. Um, I want to mess around with it, but I'm glad I did. Um, and I had just enough of it to make this bottle. So, have you ever had Pappy Van Winkle or Old Rip Van Winkle or any of those? And speaking of Old Rip Van Winkle, it's 107 proof, like the Weller Special Reserve. Apparently, it might be aged a little longer, uh, maybe a little bit more mellow. And But still, the Antique 107 is one of my favorite bourbons. Allocated or a shelfer, it's good stuff. Um, anyway, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> and I will provide a link for the eBay seller that sold me the labels. I told him I would do that because I was very impressed with it. And Bill Murray does not endorse this <laughs> bourbon at all. But, uh, you know, who more appropriate to have on the label than Bill Murray, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. So, and, uh, that, that guy I bought the, can't remember, I don't, yeah, anyway, I'll put the link in the description, and, uh, yeah, if you, and there, the labels weren't too expensive, so, and they're really excellent quality, and, uh, yeah, I might make another bottle of that, <laughs> for sure. So, uh, and I'll leave it there. Until next time, it's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. I hope your next pour is your best pour. We'll catch you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, everyone, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.